we solving the problem called design file system from lead code which is of medium level so this question is very, very seems to be very important as you can see it has been asked a lot in various companies in the last one year see and also you can see the related topics are related to hash table string design try so we will try to solve it how how we can solve it okay so let's get back to the question so you are asked to design a file system that allows you to create a new paths and associate them with different values okay the format of a path is one or more concatenated strings of the form slash followed by one or more lower case english letters it, it means which it says that it's the path should be like this slash a or slash q slash d something like this okay for example they have also given example like slash lead code and slash lead code slash problems are valid paths while an empty string and slash are not so basically they are saying that if there is any empty string or if there is any string which just contains the forward slash then they are not the valid paths so now they are asking to implement a file system class which uh, the, in which there is a method create path which takes two values path and value creates a new path and associates a value to it if to it if possible and returns to returns true so basically what we are do what we are doing we are trying to create a path and if we are able to create that path then we we should associate that value with this path and return to so what is what would be the condition when we are not able to create the path that is described later like returns for return false if the path already exists or if the parent path does not exist what it means to say that let's say i have created these two paths and again a parameter comes again a call comes to this method to create slash a then we should return false because it has already been created false okay the other condition is like it is trying to say that let's say you have created slash a slash p okay and then since it does not exist so you will return true because you are able to create now because this slash a was already created and slash p after that slash p is coming so why i am stressing out on that part because let's say you want to create slash q slash slash b slash d slash b slash p okay now this parent does not exist right so and you are trying to create this path slash b slash p so it should return false it should not be like that that its parent path should exist in should be already have been created then only you can create the latter paths it i mean to say, it means to say that and then there is another method called get string which gives you path and returns the value associated with the path so example they are they have given like this let's let's take an example one and then we will try to solve and then we will try to take an example with we will try to go with example two so example one says that a file system so here you can see that here it has been explained how our this class will be called okay so first of all when you call file system this constructor will be called and uh, something nothing will happen then you are trying to create slash a path and associate a value with one so slash a will be associated with one and then and then you are trying to get get with this path okay then it will re it should return one okay it should return one similarly it's uh, sim that's what the explanation is here similarly it is here let's try to go to through this one then we will get some more clearer picture like first first of all the class is as a class is as a initiated and whatever there is a constructor it will be uh, it will be executed and then you i we create a path slash lead and one it will be created because this is just the root path and it is not exist it does not exist so it will be created okay and uh, again there is another create create path slash lead slash code 
so this will also be created and it the value will be inserted as 2 why because this parent already exists in the path now we are trying to get the value so it will return 2 that's what it is here and then again we are trying to create slash c slash d but the this this will return false because its parent slash c has never not been created yet okay and we are trying to create the path so that's why it will return false and so it will not be stored in is stored in our data structure and then we are trying to get slash c which already does not exist so it will return minus one so that's what the explanation is here because the parent path slash c does not exist let's try to solve this problem so the data structure i will be using is i will be using a map and i got this intuition because i have also tried to solve other file system problems and this can be solved with try and uh, of, uh, and uh, map as well because there we can map why map because we can map the parent we can try to get the parent as well that's why i am trying to use the map so the, the intuition behind using the map is that and you will get to know later on how that intuition helps us so we will create a map of a string and integer in order to store the value of that path okay let's say we call it this map as file path okay in constructor we will try to initiate this okay now we try to solve this public boolean great path so first of all as a step one we will do the valid basic validations like uh, if, but the path should not be empty the whatever they told us uh, told us here whatever they told us here that's the basic validation we will be doing here like if path is empty or okay if path is empty or uh, if path dot contains basically path dot length is equal to equal to one and path dot equals as we it was mentioned that it should not be slash then also we will return false or uh, file path this map already contains the this value which you are trying to insert into the uh, which you are trying to create okay file path dot contains key let me try to file path dot contains key then just return false okay sorry sorry contains key path then just return false okay now we will come to the main logic now first of all what we have to do now it once you have passed through this basic validation it means the coming path has not been inserted into the in, into the map so what we will do let's take some let's take one example like slash a is coming let's take some example slash a slash b slash a slash b then what we will try to do let's say we are if we are trying to store this then it must be store this must be stored into the this must exist into the our map this must exist into the map because this is the parent of slash a slash b so let's try to first of all let's focus on this so we are trying to store this path okay how we will try to store this path so it's like this like uh, let's try to find the index of basically if you see here slash a slash b slash c okay so if you think then first of all slash a would have come then slash b would have come and then we are trying to insert slash c okay so this part should already exist in the map and how do i get the index of this 
so we can use last index right so let's try to find the index of this 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 any this this forward slash okay so this will be like a string index sorry int index is equal to path dot last index of slash okay so this will give you the location of last index even if let's say consider this case it will give you the index of this that is zero okay so don't con don't get intimidated or confused with that and then we'll try to get the substring from this string parent path let's call it parent path okay uh, please capital okay string parent path is equal to path dot service string from 0 to sorry from 0 to index right in this case what will happen uh, it will 0 to index right 0 to index means 0 to 0 and uh, you know that substring this is the uh, I mean this is not considered means this is exclusive so what I will get this this will be empty right this will be basically this parent path will for for this case this case it will be empty but for this slash a slash b parent path it will be slash a slash b for this you will get the index of this and you will get the substring parent path as this so now you are trying now you are getting that why we have done like this okay and then we will check that if parent path dot length is greater than why greater than one because of this case because of this case because of this case okay and and it's this parent path should exist in the map as well right so file path file path dot contains key parent path so basically we are saying that if the parent path length is greater than 1 and our map does not contain this parent path then just return false okay and then otherwise we will just insert this insert this path into our map and then will return true okay so file path dot put path comma value right and then just return to so I will remove this and this is basically this is step 2 or oh, basically that's what step 2 is the main part okay now we need to just return the value okay so here you nothing to do just take the file path and check whether it exists or not if it does not exist just return one so i will be using java 8 get or default if you have get or default what does this do if there is a value associated with this key that is path then it will return the value associated otherwise it will return minus one okay so that's all from this let's try to run this okay very okay here i missed the return statement okay 23 anything else no right so it is let's try to run the other example test cases 
and let's try to see what are the constant it's very important to note the constants see it is saying that the number of calls of the two functions is less than equal to 10 to the power 4 and if we see the complexity of our this great path so basically it this is just of order of constant time okay and here creation of substring is order of n okay and then we are checking this is also you can think of order of constant and then this is put okay and then we are trying to get this is order of one this is order of one so basically it is order of order of n okay so i think uh, this should be and the value lies between 10 to the power 9 10 to the power 9 so it does not matter because it fits in the integer range so i think we should pass the all the test cases if we are thinking correctly okay so i have already since done that see uh, we cleared and yeah that's all for that's all for now yeah thanks a lot bye